Hi, I'm Landon McKenzie. I'm working in East Vancouver on the unceded territory of the Tsleil-Waututh, Squamish, and Musqueam people. I've been a painter for over 40 years, although I didn't study painting. I studied printmaking and I studied conceptual art at the early Nova Scotia College of Art. And I come to painting really as almost a massive experimenter. Most of my work is lar very large. So think of the size of two garage doors. That would be typically sort of my lovely scale, sort of big, immersive, uh, you know, even at eight by 10 feet or something, you can sort of float away. And then my other scale are these little tiny paintings. I sometimes call them suitcase paintings. The canvases are around at the studio, but just like I'll have this really beautiful and expensive paint, oil paint still left over from doing something on one of the big paintings. And my rule is I can never leave the paint. I will grab a small canvas or, or some oil paper that I have, and I will just start. And so the little paintings tend to get built, and you could say that's a funny word, like built rather than painted, but over time, often with things that are kind of coming off of the big paintings, and I don't overthink them. And there's a lovely idea about painting is that, that it's good to not overthink a painting. I think the little green painting in the auction has a nice quality of being just a little kind of, um, sort of a luxurious little presentation of an idea that then the viewer hopefully takes the idea and, and visits it differently. So it has abstraction, it, it, it plays off of geometric abstraction a little bit. Um, it plays off of just living around us in such a green place like Vancouver. And it's, it's meant to be a kind of yummy little thing that we read sort of with our heads. So our, my big work, you read sort of with your body. Some people might know my big work at the O'Dane Museum or have seen a show of mine at the VAG and they'll they'll see a work and they'll, as they zero in on one part, the rest of the painting kind of floats away. But with these little paintings, it's like a little mirror. So on one day, you just see it for what it is. It, it reminds you of this. It's really going to be in the memories or the experiences of people who live with this little painting that it can mean something on every different day.